Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here we go again. These libs never learn. 9.7 million year old teeth discovered in Germany could rewrite human history. Only these aren't human teeth. Uh, they're ape teeth. The great ape teeth found in Eppelsheim last year could topple the understanding of our earliest history, Herbert Lutz. Head of the excavation team tells Deutsch there what the find means to him and how it almost didn't happen. A little over a year ago, a team of archaeologists in southwestern Germany uncovered two teeth where the Rhine River used to flow in the town of Eppelsheim near Mainz. The news of the discovery was announced last week because the team that had performed the excava excavation wanted to make sure that they had found what they had found was as significant as initially thought. Herbert Lutz has a team at the Natural History Museum in Mainz. So Lutz is completely new to science and was a big surprise because no one had expected such a tremendous, extremely rare discovery. Finding this completely new species, no one expected that. Deutsch file. Deutsch fell. Why were you looking at this precise location? We are ex excavating riverbed sediments of the Proto Rhine River near, near Eppelstein. The sediments are approximately 10 million years old and are well known to science ever since first fossils were excavated here in the early 19th century. And how old are the teeth found? about 9.7 million years old. What does 9.7 year old tooth look like? It's perfectly preserved. It actually looks like an excellent tooth. However, it's only longer white. It's shining, shining like amber. DW. No less has been said about this tooth in the history of mankind now has to be rewritten. Well, you know, that's a question that's discussed for decades. New discoveries lead to insights that might contribute to our knowledge about our history, and this finding that the potential because the great ape species has a relationship to Homo sapiens. Uh, yeah. As in Makiki and Cages. What's groundbreaking knowledge here? Groundbreaking knowledge is that they account for the finds not only in East Africa, and they are much, much short, younger. These species are well known in anti and as Hardy and Lucy, and their canines look very similar to the ones here from Eppelstein. But they are only two, three, four million years old, and Eppelstein is almost ten. So the question is, what has happened? Uh, this, I've already said. Why do I have to keep explaining this to scientists? It's very simple. Unbelievable. Okay, you scientists. I'm gonna break this down for you since you haven't figured this out. A long time ago, we had people living in what we call Europe today. And people being the way they are. People being the way they are, they keep animals in cages. We call them zoos. Alright, you getting this so far? Are you scientists familiar with the term zoo? This isn't that hard to understand here. You mean how this great ape got up to the Rhine Valley and one of the species in Africa came from Europe? Yeah, we have similar species in Africa, but we do not know where the great ape came from. We do not have comparable finds from southern Europe, even from in between maybe Greece or Turkey. From there, we know of the great ape fossils, but they look much different. And that's, and so it's a great mystery. 
It's called a zoo, you idiots! So, this is one Rhineland monkey whose teeth have been found in the general public teeth's discovery. Until Sunday, yes, they're an exposition mate. And most likely, about mid-November, they'll be in display on the great exhibition in Lands Museum in Maine. Okay, one more time. This is called the Zoo. A long time ago, some poor ape was kept in a cage, same way we keep him today. This is what humans do. And that civilization died out for whatever reason. This was in the area of what we call Germany today. Well, it's not, it wasn't Germany then, obviously. Germany didn't exist back then. Most likely, that's the scenario. It's called a zoo. Humans have been doing it ever since there were humans and animals on this planet. Duh! You scientists getting this by now? Or do I need to explain simply? I want you scientists to go down, type in zoo in the name of your city, and go visit the zoo. Or just to look at it online. It's crying out loud. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Disgusted. <laughs>